De regreso en Auto 060, we're switching back to English again because we're going to talk more about, about the Jaguar Concept 7. The Concept 11 uh, Pebble Beach, and uh, we're looking at a beautiful new car from Jaguar. Can you talk a little bit about it? I mean, it looks like a race car. It is beautiful, and it's the Project 7 Jaguar that was uh, inspired by the engineering and the design team at, at Jaguar uh, for Goodwood. Uh, oh, okay. So it's uh, it, uh, Mike Cross, uh, who heads up the the engineer team for Jaguar, actually ran this car up the hill at Goodwood a few weeks ago. Uh, it's based on the F-Type chassis. Uh, they've lowered it 10 millimeter with different suspension and, and uh, dampening and sprains. Uh, they've increased the, uh, the the horsepower of the 5 liter uh, V8 supercharged engine to 550. It's got a uh, different design nose on the front. Um, it's got the D-Type inspired flaring uh, in the back. The number seven is uh, is based on uh, seven wins at Le Mans for Jaguar. And the blue color is uh, the D-Type uh, color that uh, won Le Mans back-to-back -back in 1956 uh, and 57. Yeah. And I noticed that the windshield is a little bit lower than a normal car. Why is that? Uh, the, the windshield uh, is uh, four and a half inches lower. It's a little bit of a different angle, uh, and it gives it that that spider uh, look uh, as 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 an open kind of cockpit uh, uh, car. Um, Yeah, it's just it's it's a it's a concept car for Jaguar, but but what makes it unique is it's actually you can it's drivable. Okay. And, and uh, you said you were uh, you you were in in, a, in relationship with uh, the Jaguar program, the racing program from Jaguar. So you've driven it? I have driven it, uh, and uh, it's it's a lovely car to drive. Okay. It's it's uh, it's what uh, what us racing drivers would like to have on the racetrack. Uh, it handles very well uh, in dynamic feel, the braking, the acceleration, the lightness of it. Uh, in my relationship with Jaguar, uh, I headed up their Jaguar Performance Driving Academies here in the U.S. Okay. Uh, people that buy an our model Jaguar, they come spend the day with us at a racetrack, and we teach them all about the performance side of the car. Oh, very interesting program. And uh, where is that? Uh, is that, I guess, different locations? Right? We do. We, we go to Laguna Seca here in Monterey, California, to Homestead, Miami, to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We move around. But uh, but I, I go back to uh, to driving the Silcut Jaguars in Le Mans and uh, in Europe in Group C uh, many years ago to the Bud Light Jaguars here in the States. Excellent. So if somebody you said if somebody buys a new Jaguar, uh, might have a chance to drive with you. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. So where can uh, our audience can find out more about this program? Uh, they go to uh, JaguarUSA.com and uh, they can learn more about uh, about the, the program or or they can uh, Google, uh, you know, Jaguar Driving Performance Academy. Excellent. Very much. Another incentive to buy one ja a new Jaguar. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we teach you all about the performance side of it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jerry. Uh, David. Nice to meet you. Cuando regresemos la próxima semana vamos a tener más información, más entrevistas aquí en Autos 060 con Javier Mota. Esto es Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.